kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I am going to show you how to use the Google Vision API to scan the barcode scanner using your Android phone and in this video I will also tell you how to use your camera to uh, scan the barcode okay so basically we will be scanning the QR code and so let's get started so first of all the first step here is you need to uh, integrate the Google Vision API in your Android studio okay so the first step is you need to go to your build.gradle file and inside that you just need to uh, use the dependency okay this dependency just copy that and paste it inside your build.gradle now the second step is you need to now go to uh, your build.gradle okay and this time you need to add the maven dependency all right after you add these two things now the final step is you need to go to your android manifest and in here you need to use this metadata okay so there after these three steps you will be able to use the google vision api in your android application all right so let's get started towards our code so first of all basically we will have this uh, main activity and inside that we will have the surface view okay so we need to use this the surface view to display our camera and uh, so we use we will use the match parent as the width and we need to use let's say 400 dp for our okay so let's change it to 300 dp for the height and let's set the id as camera preview all right and let's try to change center in parent to true okay so basically we will have this uh, surface view uh, at the center of our layout and after that we need uh, the text view here so we need to use text view match parent wrap content and we need to set the id to text view all right and let's try to bring it down so we can say layout below and here we can say camera preview okay and layer we need to set the margin top to 20 dp and let's try to set the text as please focus on qr code okay let's try to change the size to 20 sp and okay let's change it to 18 sp and also we need to set the gravity to center okay so basically we will be displaying the result inside our that text view okay so our layout is complete now we just need to go to our main activity and inside that first of all we need to initialize our view so first of all there we have surface view and after that we need to initialize the camera source okay we will be using the camera source object so now the next step is we need to use uh, i mean we need to integrate the text view here all right and inside our own create method we need to first of all initialize the surface view so we can say find view r dot id dot camera preview and inside now our own create method let's try to initialize our text view so we can have the text view as find view by id r dot id dot camera preview all right but now it is saying an error okay so here we will be using the text view all right and now we need to first of all initially use the barcode detector class so we can say barcode detector all right and let's try to first of all uh, initialize our barcode detector dot builder this and we need to use the set barcode formats and we need to use qr code dot build all right and now we need to use initialize our camera source so we can say camera source equals to 
new camera source and we need to use builder this barcode detector okay and now we need to use set requested preview size and we need this size as 640 into 480 and we need to use build all right and after that what we can do is we can uh, okay so now we need to first of all uh, use the uh, i mean the surface view holder so first of all we can say surface view dot get holder dot add uh, callback so we will be adding the callback new callback okay so in there we will have three these three methods surface created surface changed and surface destroyed okay so here we need to use the method start of the camera source object so we can say camera source dot start and inside that we will pass the holder okay so there you can see that there is an exception we need to use the camera permission inside our android manifest so here we can say use it permission camera and the second uh, permission here will be vibrate okay so we now need to vibrate our uh, smartphone when the qr code is uh, scanned successfully okay so now still we have this error so we need to add the permission check here let's try to remove all these things okay and still we are have, having an issue because we need to cache the io exception so here we can use io exception so we just need to cut that and paste inside our all right so what we are going to do here is okay so now inside our surface destroyed method all we need to do is we need to just stop our camera source so we can say camera source dot stop all right and now inside our surface view so we need uh, inside our own create method so we need to use the barcode detector dot set processor okay and inside that new detector processor and there we will have these two methods which are over uh, written and inside our receive detection method when, after we detect the the qr code or i mean uh, we scan the qr code so here we need to uh, get the data so for that first of all we need to use a sparse array of type barcode and we can say qr codes equals to detections dot get detected items okay so now we can check if qr code dot size is not equal to zero okay i mean if the qr code size array is not equal to zero all we need to do is we need to use text view dot post new runnable and inside that uh, run method all we want to do is we need to now just vibrate the device so for that we can say vibrator equals to vibrator find you by id r dot id okay sorry so here we need to use get application context dot get system service and inside that we can say context dot vibrator service and we can say vibrator dot vibrate and we need to set 1000 milliseconds okay i mean one second and finally we just need to set the text all right so we can say qr codes dot value at and we can say dot display value all right guys so that is it still we are having an issue because let's just <coughs> here we need to change this to get application context all right guys so let me first of all open the site sync app and let me connect my smartphone <coughs> all right guys so now we just need to open uh, my phone screen and let's just try to run our application and let's see if it works or not so we just need to wait a bit
all right guys so you can see that our camera preview is ready so let me open the QR code and let's try to stand here you can see that uh, it is please uh, it is written that please focus on QR code okay so if I open the QR code and let's try to set so here you can see that the text is now changed to programming experts because I have set the text here alright so now the vibration is stopped but now if I just print here again so you can see that uh, programming experts uh, is uh, written alright guys so, so if you like the video please like share and subscribe